You know there's a way to eat them upside down? Did you know that? No. Yeah, because you've got the hard crust on the top. So yeah, that's like the plate. So you Man, can eat it. That is good. Yeah. Yeah. Who told you that? That's the way you're supposed to eat them. Oh, come on. Where, where, who says so? <laughs> I, keep, I keep having visions of the musket. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining us again. We are back on the oval build. Yes. Yes, thank you again to Just Campers in the background for sponsoring these series of videos. They have been very, very helpful as ever. Absolutely. For pro providing all of the parts that we need so far. Um, today's actually a big day. The last episode, I'm sure you remember well, we both uh, <laughs> scarred. Oh, scarred. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the engine is in and running, which, means we're now moving on to brakes. The brake parts have been sitting on that bench over there for far too long. Everything hopefully is gonna get bolted on to the Beetle and is it a bit optimistic to say it's gonna be on its wheels by the end of the day? It's very optimistic. If everything goes to plan, which no doubt it won't, by the end of the <laughs> video, the oval is gonna be, we might even drive it out of here. No, wow. that is ambitious. So it's wheel bearings are on. Wheel bearings are on, but the rear hub that holds the wheel bearing and back plate and seal all needs to go on, then we can start building up the brake. So we get the, yeah, the yep. rear hub seal, the backing plates, then start building up the shoes and the springs and the actual brakes, master, the brake cylinders. Yep. Another brake line. We got, yeah, we got to make our last yeah. hard line. And we, we'll hook all that, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see, you'll yeah. See. <laughs> wow. We need this one, one of these. Now in here, look at that Christmas day. Look. We have uh, something to put your cake on. <laughs> another, <laughs> another takeaway. <laughs> That's our oil seal, and these are our hub gaskets. This is also a very important O-ring. Well, they're all very important. That's very important. All right, what do you think? Beautiful. Put that over there on the bench. Start with the backing plate. He, he got on here. Well, that is like this, this way up. Ah, dog. Wonderful cleaning. Yeah, it's getting busy, isn't it? It is. A lot of bits that need to line up and hook on and clip over. You mind your fingers, John? Okay, John, thank you. This is all for the the handbrake stretch. There he is. Go on, Dom. That looks better. On, happy? Well, some springs missing, but... <laughs> happy, as, happy as can be. Lovely. Ooh, that was good, wasn't it? God, I didn't realise it was that far out. Look at it. Yeah. This is an oil catcher. So any oil that whistles its way down here, instead of it coming out all over the brake shoes, it goes down this little tube uh, and works its way out a little hole, which is there, just there. So we're all hooked up, everything's there. Once that goes on, we can then reach those adjusters through the hole in the drum and move the shoes out. Go on then. Oh, we must have got something right, Dom. Yeah.
John has done all of what you've just seen on the right hand <laughs> side on the other side. So back brakes are complete. We're now gonna move down to the front, front and do the same again, but a little bit different on the front. We'll probably show you through this one because the front is a little bit different. Dom has kindly removed the original wheel bearings and their races. Wheel bearing comes in two parts. Ooh. I've seen people replace this before, not this, and then wonder why it still goes. <laughs> this is the bit that normally wears first. Sort of thing I'd do. I think I first saw it on one of your vehicles, Don't be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so we have two bearings, one on the inner, one on the outer. We have to put that in there. So that's where we start. All right, so basically, you don't need one of these, but it does make life a lot easier. Basically, your race fits in there. Hear the different sound? That's home. If I, if I didn't have this, I would literally start it off like this. different sound. Home. Yeah, that drum cracking in half, that's it. Uh, so that is your new bearing races. Very nice. Now, the bit that nobody likes. Bearings. They need to be packed solid with grease. <laughs> Get a handful of grease. Put it on. And I use my palm and I just knead it in. And then you can see where I'm kneading it in. I'll come in, Dom, look. Oh, look at that. See it pushing through oh. in between each one. Come even closer. Hang on. That's it. Yeah, so where I've pushed it, see it's pushed through each roller. And just keep working it. There it goes. See it push through again. Look at that. That is one packed bearing. Right. Would you like do? me to flip the drum over? No, because we want to put the oil seal in, otherwise the bearing will fall out. <laughs> it's putting up the fight, Dom, look. Let's come back out. See, how cheeky was that, Dom? Now we can pop our last one in. Yes. Pick up our bearing we've done. Here's one I've done earlier. Pop him in there. Oh yeah. There it is, that's that part. We can forget about that for a minute. We'll come back to that when we put all the back plate on. Done. Girling. It's probably about 50 years old. Someone handed it down to me years ago. Is it actually for yeah, putting see, shoes on? That's exactly what it's for. There it is, all together. Shoes on, wheel cylinders, locked off, hoses complete, slide the drum on, onto the other side. Failure to clean your new fuel tank before installation may destroy your carburetor mm, and result in a non-smooth running engine. Oh. Well, John's finishing off the front brakes. I thought I would, whilst the car's on the lift, dump the gearbox oil because we've got a, pot, a new pot of it and it's one of those things that is well worth doing. I mean, we've done everything else. We may as well do the gearbox oil. Um, but now John has come up here and interfered I may as well oh, let I'm him not. do the honours and I'll capture it on film for you. What makes you so sure anything's going to come out though? <laughs> well, I think that's half of the worry that there is no gearbox oil in there. Good, we can put a nice measured amount in then. Oh! oh. 
that bad colour, is it? Quick, put it back in. <laughs> Keep it, yeah. God. Look, I've got the wheels. I've cleaned up the wheels. New tyres are fitted. We're getting close. We're not quite ready to put the wheels on yet, but I thought I'll just get them here, just ready, just in case John changes his mind and fancies putting them in. Jobs to finish. We're at the point now, basically, where John is getting on. He's getting old. He's, <laughs> he's struggling with his memory. Um, he's requested we write a list of all of the jobs to do. Who am I? All of these things have to be done before the Volkswagen show. Oh, before we go on. Today is nearly over, um, and we've got one more John day. The rest of the time is just me, which... He's worrying. Worrying. Adjust the brakes. Yep, adjust the brakes. Fit the wheels. Connect the brake reservoir. Oh, come on. Pedal box. Pedal box. Can't bleed the brakes without a pedal box. Connect the clutch. Clean the fuel line. Front to back fuel pipe. Bleed the brakes. Fit the wheels. Gearbox oil. Where's the battery? Battery. Battery. Fuel tank. Fuel tank. Electrics, which is the semaphores. Well, yeah, and uh, every other Electrical component. component yeah. <laughs> which is broken. The handbrake cables. That's a lot to get done. Yeah, but do you know what? Now you can actually look at it and get your head around it. We're going to get through half of that list tonight. No way. Yes way. You reckon? We got to. What are you doing, Dom? I'm filling up the gearbox oil while I'm gaining access. Mm. To the is, oil. This on, is this on the, the list of jobs? I really hope it is. Adjust brakes. Check. Done. I have put gearbox oil in. All right, are we ready? Dom? Oh, that was us, us <laughs> two, trying to get the pedal assembly lined up. If anyone out there has a beetle that's done that, you'll feel our pain. We've now both got cramp in both arms, legs. <sighs> Uh, neck, but it's in. Basically, the oh, no. wow! Was that the nut? Uh, the accelerator cable is hooked up. The clutch cable is connected. That's what John's just throwing on the floor now. The nut. <laughs> <of it. laughs> it's so close. Now the pedals are back in. That means we can bleed the brakes. And once the brakes are bled, we can then put the wheels on, lower it, and it will be on the floor. Have you got the, what's the time, John? Uh, it's, it's bedtime. <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> Connect the brake reservoir. Yes. Done. Pedal box. Yes. Extra tick. Excellent. Connect the clutch. Well, you're pretty much there. That's the end. Yeah, I'm just finalizing that. Yeah. Good. Bleed the brakes. No. No. Flush the fuel line. Yes. 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 Connect the fuel hose. Yes. Did you? Yes, I have at the back. It's done. Perfect. Engine oil. No, Go I drained on. it. I have uh, not filled it up. Well, I don't think we should leave it unfilled. <laughs> we will do that. That's, that's not bad. Not bad. That's, that's virtually half of the list. That's good. And the bits that are on there, put oil in the engine, fit the wheels, bleed the brakes. It's, that's all super quick stuff. The table full of brake parts have all been fitted and I will say everything has gone on really nicely. Very the well. Brake, the brake shoes, the springs, the cylinders, the hard line kit. Yeah, the hoses. And all that good. is all thanks to the team at Just Campers and not me because I was convinced that I was going to be ordering the wrong stuff. Uh, but it just goes to show that the team at Just Campers are enthusiasts themselves. They've got Beetles, they've got ovals, they're so familiar with the cars. I was just, I could just call them up and be like, yeah, I need brake lines, I need shoes, I need that and that. And every single thing they've sent has been spot on. So I don't even know the sound's working. Testing. Oh no. We need the last few components to finish the Beetle. Um, time is getting very tight before we go to the Volkswagen show. So I think what I need to do is head up to the Just Campers HQ and maybe Mark up there will let us have a little look around. That'll Ooh. be a cool little treat. I know they've got an amazing workshop up there and I cannot wait to see it. So we ship seven days a week. So this is uh, the weekend's big stuff that's waiting to go. So How yeah, big is this place? Uh, it's about 24,000 square feet in Jeez. here. You've got everything. Try to. This is our workshop where we do how-to videos. We're so close because we're now days away from the Volkswagen show. We've still got a lot of work to do. 